Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Once again, today we're driving the Western Star 4900 FA. A big thanks to uh, Siberian and Yukon and all those guys uh, that got this truck into American Truck Sim. And then uh, the 1.37 patch on top of that. We got the 82-inch sleeper on the back of it uh, in this wonderful blue color. We're taking some uh, pipes or some uh, concrete tubes down to Carlsbad. Uh, New Mexico today. So we've got the Detroit diesel in it. Uh, 400 horsepower. I'll let you listen to this thing as we fire it up. Oh, I love the sound of that. Oh, yeah. It's got a great Jake brake in it, too. And then we got the 18 speed as well. All right, we're backing into our stall over here. Um, I'll show you the reason why we're using the outside view for this little section here, but uh, mainly because the mirrors on this modded truck do not work correctly and that's okay it's a modded truck you know that's gonna be a, a thing and that's all right all right nice and slow here and we should be able to grab that just like that awesome attach the trailer and uh, we're gonna be ready to rock and roll let's do it all right so this is the interior of the western star as you can see uh i don't believe it's an actual 4900 fa interior but it's using some other truck However, it's modded, and this is what I'm talking about with the mirrors. Uh, they don't work correctly, so you just got to kind of roll with it, and I'm fine with it because I wanted to drive this truck. It is an awesome truck, but we just can't see what we're doing um, at all, and uh, it's okay. It is okay. All right, so we're stuck in some uh, rush hour traffic here this morning. Uh, I've been through a few lights of lines of cars. So through the magic of editing, you don't have to sit through it. And uh, we'll get to this intersection. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Why are you slamming the brakes? It's green. Wow, man. I mean, I know as a cop, but geez, dude, what are you doing? Besides being an idiot. But uh, yeah, I've been in this, but we finally got out of that traffic jam that I've been in for a while. And like I said, through the magic of editing, you don't have to sit through it. So congratulations on that. Don't you do it. Love the sound of that Jake break in this thing. It sounds so good. So, so, so good. How's everybody doing? Having a good week so far? Hopefully. Uh, 25 South, keep right. Yep, that's what we're going to want. 25 South. Right here. Yeah. I've been doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, just been uh, kind of chilling out, you know. And I want to let you guys know, you know, with uh, everything that's going on in the world, uh, you know, things are kind of crazy right now. And you got the protests going on. You know, you still got uh, the, the COVID stuff going on as well. Here we are slamming the brakes early on because no one can merge onto the highway. At all, as per usual. Uh, but with that going on, I'm not doing any LEO RP stuff uh, out of respect for everybody that's protesting. And if you guys are protesting out there, uh, be safe about it. Wear a mask and all that. And uh, take care of yourself. Uh, but since all that's going on, out of respect, I'm not going to be uh, producing any LEO content here on the channel uh, for a little while. So that's the reason why things have been shaken up a little bit. Uh, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to play games with the uh, the guys or anything like that. We're still going to be doing that. Uh, and uh, with um, 5PD, we'll be able to do some fire department stuff uh, and check out the rest of the fire script. Okay, we're going to be in this traffic for a while, it looks like. All right, finally moving again. Jeez, man. They were messing around today with traffic. Boy, that Mustang was blowing by us. Oh, another one. Looks like they're going to a Mustang convention. So that's what's going on with the channel, with me. We will use the right lane. You got it. Towards Roswell. I haven't been on these roads in a while. You guys excited for Idaho and Colorado? I'm pretty stoked. I haven't watched any of the trailers. Uh, I don't want to ruin anything for me yet. And uh, I haven't been contacted by SCS yet for early access to Idaho, but I assume it's going to be coming soon enough since uh, that's been the pattern uh, with the other state releases. 
So I can't wait to show you and uh, experience that together because I haven't seen any of it. Oh, it sounds so good, this truck. Well, a Detroit diesel just sounds awesome. All right, watch it on the right side. They're supposed to yield to us, but you never know. You never, never know. You might notice I have a Band-Aid on my finger. I uh, ripped it open, my finger, uh, from playing guitar. I haven't hadn't played guitar in a while. And uh, when you don't play for a while, well, then you, you win stupid prizes, basically. And you get your blisters on your fingers, and then you have to go through that whole painful process again. But I was able with the new Go XLR, so by the way, I'm on a whole new audio interface. That's why the microphone's been crappy sometimes, and then it got good again. I had to learn that interface, that audio interface. I was on a Personas 22 VSL for a long time, and I just recently swapped over to the Go XLR. Love the Go XLR. It's just a different beast uh, to to handle. Uh, basically, I used to have to have a really high input on the Personas and then hush it down in software. And with the Go XLR, it's the opposite of that. I need to hush it coming in and then bring it up with makeup gain and the compressor. So I was able to figure it out and get my EQ back to where I like it. Um, but that's the reason why there's been some changes on the audio. Some of you noticed, a lot of you guys didn't notice. Um, but that's what's going on there. And uh, to continue my story about why I'm playing guitars, I use Guitar Rig 5 on uh, PC, which is basically an emulator for, you know, amps and stuff. I love it. I have a lot of presets on there, but I was not able to, with the last setup, uh, stream it or do anything fun like that. We're slowing down to 55 because they asked us to. <laughs> um, I didn't, um, wasn't able to do that, but with the Go XLR, it's awesome. I'm able to bring it in, use it independently, uh, and now I can live stream music, which is going to be awesome. So I'm getting my guitar chops back up again and hence the, the blisters. And I did what you should never do, ever, ever, ever do. And that is uh, play until your blisters pop and then the skin falls off. So I should have just waited. I, I get impatient with things like that. Another big thing that's coming to the uh, Twitch channel, if you guys don't know, I, I do stream uh, Tuesday through Friday, sometimes Saturdays on Twitch. Uh, link is always in the description below of these videos. You can check it out there. Uh, and with that said, I am bringing something new to the channel uh, this year and this storm season that's coming up. That is, uh, I'm gonna be chasing the I-4 corridor uh, for tornadoes and uh, for severe weather. So I'll be live streaming that. I did uh, go out and get a uh, one of those Ram mount laptop holders for the truck. Uh, so I could put that in there for all my streaming software and as well as the radar software like GR level three. So I used to chase a long time ago as a, what they call a backyard chaser. All right, I'm gonna slow down here, buddy. Love that sound. 45. <laughs> that is so good. All right, we got a stop sign here. Slow way on down here. Continue straight. We will continue straight. You got it. All right, into second gear there. Nobody's coming, right? Yep, we're good. Uh, but I used to chase a backyard chaser basically is a person who chases uh, near where they live. And uh, when I was in St. Louis, I would do the same thing. Whenever you're poor and you don't have any money, uh, you basically, you know, can go as far as your wallet carries you. But in Missouri, it was a, you know, a prime spot for severe weather. I didn't have to go too far. I've taken a bunch of courses online for, um, weather spotting and all that. I'm not a sky worn spotter. I'm not, I'm not out there with amber lights on and I'm not trying to be, you know, something I'm not, which is just an enthusiast. Uh, I love severe weather and storms and I like properly chasing them. 
but you aren't going to find me chasing uh, tornadoes or anything like that uh, in the inflow notches or in any of the dangerous spots. I tend to chase to the southern part of the storm uh, if it's moving that way and then uh, following it that way at a good distance. I'm, I'm not going to be uh, core punching or doing things stupid. But maybe that's the reason why uh, you have seen those kind of things bleed over into storm chasers, which I do not take 100% serious at all <laughs> and make some really dumb decisions because I would never do that stuff in, in the real world. Although I'm not trying to put probes in the paths of a tornado either. Uh, while we're on this road, this road's actually really cool. I'm going to take a screenshot and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. A lovely little shot there with the sun poking through the clouds here and there. Um, but that's why I have some knowledge when it comes to that stuff. I'm not a meteorologist or anything like that. Um, you do tend to learn a lot about weather uh, when you go to flight school because, you know, if you're flying airplanes, you're going to be learning that stuff as well. Sorry there, New Mexico trooper. Didn't want to scare you coming around that corner. He's had to slow down big time. I did add another mod. There's one that's out there for uh, municipalities um, when it comes to the police cars. So that's why you're seeing those today. Just gonna keep the Jake brake open here as we go down this hill into a 45 zone. Just like that. I'm making a left down here, it looks like. Slow way down towards Roswell, New Mexico. Down to Mexico. All right, left turn here at the stop sign. What does that say? Road work, 17 miles ahead, blah, 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 blah. Man, making lefts out of here is just about a nightmare. It always has been. Because you got to wait for the game to basically just stop producing traffic for the most part. Although it looks like they're starting to do that on the left side, just not on the right yet. That's okay. Also, you'll see the little uh, little tree up there, pina colada, air freshener. Uh, to have that, I used the SISL mod for all the different interior stuff. Oh, there it goes. Somebody in it. That car looks very European. I don't use any of the Jazzy Cat uh, AI packs. Have you guys uh, been using those? And did, did he fix any of those issues of stutters and all that? Because a long time ago, we used to have so many different stutters. And it was directly related to that. This really has been a day of traffic, man. Like, it's never, never ending. We're just going to get out here and try to get ourselves into traffic here for too long. Oh, there's a truck there. They can wait. There's a car there. Okay, we're going to try just right here. That blue car can stop for us. Otherwise, we're going to be there all day long. So I don't even feel bad about it. I was there for a, probably about, I don't know, six, seven minutes, to be honest. I can't see if anybody's over there on the right, so hopefully they're not. <laughs> We're just going to stick to this lane for now until uh, we can't anymore, because I think it merges ahead. It looks like it might before too long. And I don't want to smash into anybody over there on the right. What a great truck. Other than, you know, the small things, I, I do want to see the mirrors get fixed on it and things like that. I mean, those are big things that need to be fixed. Uh, you can't drive in the rain with it because the windshield wipers aren't animated yet. Actually, I don't think they are unless this version of the truck, they fixed them. Oh, they fixed them. Never mind. They are animated. Okay, cool. Well, I don't know if they actually move water away, but they are animated. They work. You know what? Let's go to the outside view and we'll uh, get over uh, that way. Although this is looking... No, it's still a uh, pretty divided highway. Let's just watch this turn coming up here. I hear a car there or a truck. Okay. All right. We're going to try to get over here. Hopefully. Although now we're going into town. And there's a truck there. Yep. Coming over, buddy. Sorry.
Yeah, we're gonna continue straight. I just don't know what that truck's doing. Besides trying to make my life a miserable hell. He just slammed the brakes like he was in the middle of it. That was cool. All right, back to the inside. Our customer expects delivery soon. Yeah, I know, man, I'm trying here, but I'm just getting stuck in traffic today over and over and over again. That's a cool little uh, hut there. I think that's, I don't know what that is. It looks like one of those uh, Doppler radar systems, but I'm not really sure. Big flash sale. We're only in Roswell right now. Oh, there's the alien. Hello, Mr. Alien. Very cool. Yeah, we're only in Roswell right now. We're not even close to Carlsbad. Like, I'm t I wasn't kidding around when I said I've been in traffic a lot today. There's just not a lot I can do about it. I'm trying here. I am trying. Let's slow down here. Continue straight. Yeah, we're going to continue straight. Don't you worry about it. All right, we're finally rolling again here. I have a feeling we're going to be late today. I do, I do. I mean, we're, we're trying to hustle here, but it's just not happening. Watch out for that car. Oh, little uh, UFOs there in the side of that shop. That's how you know you're in Roswell, folks. So, uh, did you guys watch Space Force that came out on Netflix? With, uh, it was Greg Daniels and Steve Carell did it. All right, yep, straight on. Oh, uh, we watched it. Oh, uh, we watched it in two days. The whole series. I don't know why it's getting bad reviews. I loved it. I personally loved it. I tend to always like things that the critics don't. So <laughs> that's fine with me. I thought it was great. All the way up here. And then I watched Filthy Rich, which was crazy as I expected it to be. You doing that? Still staying in quarantine uh, or staying like indoors, you know, I I know that the uh, the world is or the America's reopened and all that stuff, but I just we're taking it very, very, very easy and slow. I think with all the protesting and stuff going on right now, it's going to be an absolute mess when it comes down to uh, cases climbing. But I have been getting out of the house once in a while. Slow way down here. 40 mile an hour zone coming up. We're in Artesia. Okay. Forgot how far Carlsbad is. Oh, look at the MIG. That is awesome. Welcome to Artesia. It has been discovered. Slowing down here. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's been rough staying indoors this long it's starting to affect us a little bit more and more and more as time goes on but you know with storm chasing and things like that I've been able to get out of the house and that's been wonderful just haven't had any storms to chase finally made it to the other end looks like a train's coming through uh, of Artesia here it took forever yep trains moving through the area it looks like I gotta say, with this traffic mod, I'm still using uh, DPS, uh, it it feels realistic. You know, you feel like you're definitely in these little towns, dealing with traffic and stuff. Adds a lot to it. Makes the drives less boring, that's for certain. But today, this is like the most traffic I've seen in a very long time with this mod. So, New Mexico is kicking kicking our butt today let's get up to speed there we go 70 miles an hour in this area here and I'm fine with it 
so another thing is um, been uh, continuing CBD. Uh, I told you a while back that I was uh, using CBD oil or water water soluble, but we've actually I've gravitated towards using uh, CBD coffee. And uh, this is like the third or fourth week using it, and I've noticed huge results. Um, I had really bad shoulder pain for a while, and uh, that completely went away. Lower back pain went away. Uh, well, just wellness. Like, you know, you're like, sh I would get like short bursts of anger towards like modding a game. Like, LSPDFR would absolutely do that. That's a game that I just, I don't know, I haven't been missing is LSPDFR and, or the, um, the mod. And that just is because of all the work it was behind the scenes to keep that running. You spend so much time just modding, 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 and you guys know what that's like, cause you've done it. Um, you spend more time modding it than playing it. And, uh, it got to that point where it was like that. But after I started uh, doing the CBD coffee in the mornings and uh, even the water soluble CBD, I've noticed immediately, uh, that I no longer care that much about things like that. Like, you know, it, before it'd be like the game would crash or start over or like, you'd be like, oh, you get mad at your computer or something. Oh, I think we just killed the engine. Yeah, we did. Sorry. Sorry. I thought we were in first gear. We're not. We're in fifth gear. Um, and, uh, that really made a difference for me. Yeah, we have to get over here, but we made it through the yellow light and he did not go. So perfect for us because we have to make a left up here anyway. We made it to Carlsbad. We'll see how bad this is going to be. When it comes to how far behind we are on our schedule here. Watch out for that cop car. I don't want to hit that. That would be bad. Oh, I can't see anything. Cool. Had to go with the outside view so I could see my green arrow. Which is fine. We can see the outside view here of the truck, which is absolutely beautiful. I do love the look of this truck. It is gorgeous. I think we're making a turn up here. We'll see. We're continuing straight. That's fine by me. All right, I'm going to roll my windows down here so we can listen to the sounds of this thing. This sounds so good. I'm try to roll. No, roll. keep the window rolled down. Try to get my right one to go down. Doesn't seem like it's working. Nope. Okay, cool. I don't think the right one works. Well, we made it here. Yep. Yeah, the railroad tracks up here too. Let's keep this window rolled down. That's fine with me. Looks like the train's going to be rolling through here. Yep. Here it comes. I don't know which, from what direction though, the right or the left. We'll find out. Not really sure. Oh, from the right here. That's so cool. Oh, he's going off to the right there. That had nothing to do with us, did it? And the game's trolling us today. Hardcore with the traffic and the trains. <laughs> That's all right. I know in the real world, you're not supposed to change gear over the railroad tracks. I guess that's because you wouldn't want to stall on them. Maybe that's the reason why. Can't remember. It's been a long time since I read the CDL book. But I'm sure one of you guys can let us know in the comments below. Nobody coming from the left. Sweet. Have 
made it to Plaster and Sons. We'll see where they want this thing. We're going to have to go to the outside view to back it in today because I can't see a thing. All right. Where do you want this thing at? Oh, it's an actual construction site. That's cool. Okay, buddy. Right. What's going on? Where you want it? In the back? You got it. We'll do it. Flashers, come on. Cross this little spot here. And we'll look for our white lines back in the area. Uh, looks like it's over here. I don't know. Into second gear. Oh, right there. Okay, I see it. Okay, yeah, we can do that. We can do that for you, no problem. Just gonna spin it around like this and then back it straight on in there. It's actually gonna be quite challenging because I'm really bad at outside view driving, as you know, in this particular sim. It just kinda is what it is. There we go, just turn you this way. Up next to these pipes here. But we don't have any mirrors today, so that's all right. Okay, up on the here on this hill. I'm fine with that. Get our trailer in somewhat of a decent position here. There we go. It's one of those ones with the split axle too, so you know how that goes. It's going to be... Come on, don't kill. Yeah, we killed it. Can't tell what hill that is there. A lot... A lot bigger hill than I thought it was, that's for certain. Oh, I hear the train again. What's going on back there today with these trains? I don't know. We should be in reverse. Come on, buddy. Reverse it. There you go. Just like that. Slowly bring it back that way. This should be right about right there, that angle. This should be pretty darn good. Enough for a green light, I think. Oh, I could be wrong. It might be a pain in the butt and be like, no, we don't like it. Yeah, I got it. Sweet. All right, parking brake comes on. Turn those flashes off. Fill the engine. And Yep, another train going that way. Very cool. All right, let's go ahead and unload it. And see what we got here. I'm sure it's not going to be good. Because we're late. No, we got an excellent. Sweet. Made it just in time. 228 miles. 6 hours, 52 minutes. 32.1 gallons of fuel consumed. There you have it, folks. That is a look at that Western Star. Very cool truck. Anywho, that's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves and each other.